Warlocks are the most interesting class to me, lore-wise, and they come with a lot of kind of cool story strings attached that other classes don't have to deal with. And for that reason, I've always thought that they should be more powerful in a kind of obvious way than the other classes. When you look at it, they aren't. Frankly, in most ways, Warlocks are actually a little underpowered. And I know that some of you are going to say, but Eldritch Blast! And okay, you kind of have a point, so let's take a look at how you go about getting such godlike power. This episode was brought to you by the deck of many.com. We were a large family, and with father gone, it fell to Jacopo to pick up the slack. He took a job in Luskin, and soon after, I followed. In the north side of town, we worked in a kind of hospital. Since 140, Luskin was a shadow of its former self, and we spent our days patching up all manner of thieves, demon worshippers, and even the odd kobold. Then in the spring of 183, she came. I never saw her wounds. By the time I made it in, she was already in a cocoon of cheap hempen bandages. I can still remember her eyes, unblinking, following us from station to station as we did our work. It rattled Jacopo. I remember a few weeks later, she looked at me and I heard, at the time, I thought I imagined it. Her bandages didn't move, so she didn't talk. I know better now. She had planted a seed. And when I came back the following day, her bandages were torn and scattered through the room. She was gone. Before sleep each night, I heard it again and again. Purple rock. Sarkrithal. Great power. Over the years, the brutality of Luskin hardened me, but not enough to be left untouched. When they found Jacopo, I was done. I said goodbye to my family and took the last of my coin. I purchased passage to Purple Rock. The people there had a strangeness about them, and as secretive as they were, Purple Rock is small. Half-elves can see well in the dark. And I saw. I tried to save the child. This did not go well. When finally I met Sarkrathel, it became clear. I had come here in search of power, and in exchange for a life of service, Sarkrathel would lend me his. Holy shit, that's how you get Eldritch Blast. You track down and promise your life to an inconceivable, mysterious Eldritch horror, but it's worth it. It's been called the most powerful cantrip at 1d10, and you can stack a couple invocations on it. Watch out. You can add your charisma modifier. That level of power is pretty rare in Faerun. I mean, if we compared it to something like, say, a large crossbow, it would probably be, oh, it's the same. It's the same. They do the same damage. Thanks for watching this episode of the Animated Spellbook, sponsored by thedeckofmany.com. They're making cards to help DMs and players alike keep the game moving with conditions, monsters, and more for 5th edition D&D. The new website's up, and it's looking crisp, beautiful, and easy to navigate. Link in the description.